Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to make a presentation on Mahashivalai Isan, an autonomous Thai University of Life. I am from Thailand and my name is Pratyung Hong Sranathon. Mahashivalai Isan, by the word it means university, life and non-eastern part of Thailand. It is a community which has to deal with teaching and learning was established in 1992 in Sathit District, Burilam Province. The web blog for knowledge management is about farming, livestock, health, rice plantations, and herbs. The community tries to turn tacit knowledge into explicit one with an alliances with academic knowledge from government agency and universities alike. It deals with experimentation, peer assistance, people participation. The philosophy is based on several concepts such as civil society, humanity, learner center approach, networking, knowledge management, and self alliances. The community leader or in Thai we call Kuba or Guru is Mr. Sutinan Prachaya Prip. Abrupt economic, social, and cultural changes from Thailand's modernization country development paradigm since the late 50s. The focus of the country at that time was on commercial production and exports. This development has changed the mode of production, people's way of life, and relationships between and within local communities. In fact, it was in 1989 the negative effects of the Australian Brahman cow rising, racing under the Green Isan project convert Guru Sutinan from an ordinary farmer to a community leader with a vision to make a better life for the villagers by knowledge management of, by, and for the community within the context of civil society and networking alliances. Structure of the presentation would follow in this order. However, for the first two concepts, I would appreciate if uh, the audience would read into details in my paper. From now on, for this 10 minutes presentation, the stress would be on civil society in Zipdip, which composed of establishment of Isan Community School, explanations of the terms process facilitator and citizen promotion division, the formation of MCE and the conclusion. As we said, in the 1989, the project Australian Brahmin Cow Raising Under the Green Isan Project import Australian Brahmin Cows for Isan villages to wear under the Green Isan National Project. Under this scheme, the villagers were required to form groups and find their own collateral and many rush to participate in the project without realizing their lack of knowledge of and expertise in raising this particular breed of cattle. The cows proved difficult to rear, stubborn, and were poor in breeding. The villagers ran into debt and many tried, though unsuccessfully, to return the cows to the government. So the Isan Community School, as a consequence, has been established for the learning process at the school. It was set up with an alliance with government agencies and academic institutes. Next is the process facilitator. Isan Community School had 100 enrollments per program and highly qualified members became role models for others in particular areas. These role models became what we term process facilitators. The aim was to develop self-reliances and interdependency among group members by creating 1 million role model farmers for 1 million households over an 18-year period from 2000 to 2018. The term citizen promotion division means that the villagers would not any longer use an approach of a way for assistance from the government such as in the past rural development paradigms. Instead, they pursue their objectives and they dedicate themselves into four domains. First is society. They would like to be institute of wisdom or training center or natural classroom for a field trip visit education domain, R&D domain, and career development domain for their villages. And now, Mahashivalai Isan, in the year 2000, there was a slogan that if you respect passive knowledge of people, everyone will become an expert in one way or another. 
but if we respect only explicit knowledge from books, there will be only a few experts available for us to keep track of. So, there was a call for civic responsibility in the university's role, the source of expertise that helped villagers satisfy their local needs. The program was aimed at local teachers living in the village or students working with the villagers simply to ensure that program participants remain in the village to turn their acquired knowledge into further learning for the villagers. It was hoped that Satuk would become a stronger community with a reduction in the migration of the young to big cities. It wants to restore the pride of in Isan so that new generations stay in their farming careers and live with integrity in their regional homeland, world support, and clean in Bazoo lifelong learning. One of the projects in the program was Sky to Soy at Burilam as a mechanism for learning exchange, and there were three main principles. First, management of the water system and preservation of water, revival of soil conditions, and selection and planting of appropriate fruits and vegetables. These projects serve as a learning mechanism, as we said, to improve and maintain better soil conditions in Satuk. The result of agribusiness plantations and heavy use of chemical fertilizers as part of the Thailand National Rural Development Plan. Postgraduate students from Ubondachapani University, which is located also in the northeastern part of the country, start with a synthesis of existing knowledge in the village and then disseminate the subject content to, to interest villagers while with discussions to review further tacit knowledge of the participants. The accuracy of knowledge was checked and exchanged by experimentation with the villagers where necessary gaps in the knowledge were filled by advice or discussion. So in conclusion, through the system theory, MCE is an excellent working model of the integration of civil society, knowledge management, capability, and strong networking with experts from relevant government agencies and academic staff from universities. And the last slide, consideration of community needs and a combination of traditional wisdom, academic principles, and modern technological networking is assisting the locals of Satuk become more knowledgeable and self-reliant at their individual, household, and community levels. Here are some of the references, mostly in Thai. I would like to thank you for you all for your kind attention. Thank you very much.